187 smoke devils. This is gonna take a while, dude. It's gonna take a while. This might get me 99 Slayer or some shit. And I one trip, guys. I got exactly 10 kills, and these are my loots. I think for this video, I'm actually going to show you guys all the loots I get from the Slayer task. Um, because this task and the Kraken boss task are very beneficial for money. Obviously, not great for experience, but uh, maybe it's probably worth the money to be honest. Anyways, the method I do this is very simple. After I am done my trip with barely no food left, I don't really bother risking it with 66 HP. Just in case if I have to teleport, someone comes in there and kills it and gets my drop. I don't want to have to think maybe that might have been a D chain. But yeah, recharge your prayer here. Obviously, let your prayer go as low as you need to. Um, so then you don't have to drink any because obviously once you're done, you go and recharge your prayer house. Go back to Edgel, restock on your food, and teleport back to the ring. And I'm starting to slayer task with around 550 or so sharks, I guess, with the first inventory, so let go. Alright guys, so here is all the drops that I have received from killing this boss. I'm going to take a picture every single time I finished one trip. Uh, and as you guys can see, um, every single trip is accounted for. Um, I believe on average, you guys, I would kill just around 12, sometimes 11 a trip. It depends on how much food drop you get. As you guys see right there in the chat box, I got some tuna. Um, you get three tunas or three of those kebab drops. Uh, which heal 19 HP. I think the two nodes are 22 HP to heal, something like that. Um, but yeah, obviously I use those whenever I am on my trip. But uh, yeah, overall this task is pretty damn amazing. Um, it took me, I, I estimated, well, didn't estimate, but I actually checked how much like a few trips last me. And uh, every single trip was roughly 14 to 15 minutes, including the spawn time and all that crap. So you kill around 45 to 50 bosses an hour. So this almost took me four hours in total to, to put together and to actually finish the task. Um, so it was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be, and obviously you guys can see, sometimes I risked it for the biscuit and I almost died. Um, as you guys know at the start of the, of the video, I told you guys how I do this. Obviously, you know, go back to your house, charge your prayer, yeah, 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 save a lot of money. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip, showing you guys my total loot, uh, where it's all added up together. Kind of did a rough estimate, I put a few things at the bottom of my inventory and counted them. Uh, but as you guys know, there is no price checker on old school, so... Anything I, I, you know, I'd have to check the price of it and add it together. I just said a rough estimate. Anything that's alkable, obviously, is alkable price. But anyways, I'll see you guys soon in the next clip. Lego Games. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? <sighs> <laughs> oh, my. Oh. And here is. Alright guys, and here is my final price check. Now I'm doing a talk over. I originally thought I could just solo this and kind of just estimate what the prices are, but I wanted to get the exact information for you guys. So I just calculated all these items uh, that are in my inventory right now on my uh, calculator, and it comes out to 3.4 mil. And I did lowball just about every single item. I didn't, you know, put it middle or highest. Put it as low as it, so I can instantly sell it in like two seconds to any mercher that is dreaming right now. But anyway, so 3.4 mil in the inventory. I did spend, however, guys, about uh, I think it was 300 sharks in total. It's about 300k, um, and I used about 20 or so peapots. As you guys have noticed in my inventories, if you guys look back to the pictures, every single inventory I normally have like at least half or a full prayer potion left. Um, that would normally depend on if I got food drops while I kill this thing, which does uh, also add up. Um, I did obviously get more than this just in total, all these loots, um, but I obviously got some food drops, which I, you know, I eat whenever I'm there. I might as well, let, you know, kill an extra one or two per trip. Um, next thing is I did not include things like tinder boxes, rubies, and um, like all that crap. I didn't include that stuff because uh, I didn't have enough inventory space, first of all. Uh, anything that I did not include is not really worth any money. Anyways, it's tinder boxes, uncuts, uh, and uh, I don't know, some other crap. But um, yeah, that's that's basically what it's worth, guys. Took me, if I haven't told you guys yet in this video, because I've put a bunch of clips together, took me around four hours to do Slayer Task, maybe a little bit less, and I probably made a little bit around three mil or so, give or take. Uh, that's not including any drops, so obviously the D chain is there, and I think it's worth about 4.2, 4, 4.5 mil around there. Uh, but I'm not going to include that because that's a very lucky drop to get. Uh, but I did make three mil or so just around uh, if you use all the supplies as well. Um, you can probably use monks instead of sharks, probably keep it priced down a little bit. Those are a lot cheaper, I believe, and they're not that much worse anyways than sharks. I don't really know why I buy sharks. It's just easier to buy them normally for me, but I might move down the monks sometime later on. 
Um, what was I going to say? So, yeah, oh, yeah. Um, a cult necklace and smoke battle staff is probably what you should normally get every single time you kill around 187 of these. Um, I believe the drop rate was, I think it was one every 120, something around there. Um, I'm not too sure if that was confirmed or not, but from what I also heard, the dragon chain was one every 512. So that's actually not too rare, to believe it or not. That's like three Slayer tasks and you can get it. I'm um, not too sure if that's confirmed or not, though, but if it is, that's pretty sweet. Because um, you know, it's my second one within like a thousand kills. So to me right now, that does make sense. That statement of one every 512 makes sense. I'm not too sure what the drop rate of the minion ones are, like the little smoke ones are like a 160 something. Um, I don't, they obviously don't drop all these things. They do drop okay stuff, though, if you guys feel like ever just kill those instead. Um, it's a lot less of a hassle. That task is pretty good if you just kill those. Um, but yeah, I was going to, I think this would equal up to just around like 10k Slayer experience an hour. Uh, about 40k experience for the entire task. There's about 240 each or so. So you guys can do the math there, 187 times 240. Um, and it took me roughly four hours to do. So it's not great for experience, but money-wise, it's definitely worth it. Um, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, a little bit of something different for you guys. I'm um, working on a lot of videos for today, after, as you guys know. I um, haven't made the video yet, but I will be very some, very soon sometime today. i got to be packing today as well. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.